Hey guys, I Horror Movies here, and welcome back to Let's Play Lunar 2 Eternal Blue Complete. In the last episode, we met the uh, wizard Borden from Neo Vane, and he was talking to uh, Mia, uh, Lamina's mom, and he promptly kidnapped her and took her to Neo Vane. And Lamina had a little sob story, hero chewed her up, won an Emmy, or, yeah, won an Emmy for his award. And now Lamina's given us permission to open up all these chests across Vane. So let's get this one op open for Lamina's purse. Uh, then don't, don't know why I did that. Yeah, Lamina's purse, as you can probably guess, it can only be used by Lamina, it's usually empty, but I believe it has a percentage chance to give you more silver in battle. I forget if it's a, an actual percentage chance, or it always gives you more silver in battle, but she has a free slot, so I am actually not going to equip it. Just, well, so, so, extra silver is nice and everything, but um, it's, it's, it's getting more plentiful as we go on anyway. Uh, no chest there. There is one over, um over here, in the main room. What do we got over here? We got the Gordon Dawn. Now this I want to put on Lamina. Let's see, yeah, Precious Asa, oh yeah, yeah, Clan Heirloom. It yeah, raises Wisdom and Magic Defense plus five, and lowers Luck by one. For Lamina, Luck is pointless, so she gets it. Just, yeah, she, the Wisdom boost is best for her. Or we're also wrong for that will help out uh, his healing spells if you want to go that route also. Either way it works, really. It's up to you. Um, anyway, this chest over here, we got the Seal Crest. Um, that will actually be... I'll keep that around, because that will be very, very important later on in the game. Yeah, all it does, yeah, just pretty much silence, really. Yeah, enables beauty and magic. By itself, it's worthless. But with one other certain crest, it's not so worthless. And down here, we got the Thunder Crest. That's actually not worthless, either. Um, okay, any elemental crest I have laying around. Shiro, Dream... Okay, here we go. Yeah, if you still have the Earth, uh, the um, Earth Crest, if you pair that with the Thunder Crest, you get a new well, spell. Enables non-attribute magic. Uh, let's give it to Lamina. And Fizzle Attack for her is worthless. You know, that combination, you get the Pulse Explosion spell, a burst of bitterness. It has actually a pretty good zone range for only 20 MP. It's best for Lamina because, well, for one thing, she has the most MP. But if you wanted to, you could give it to either Jean or Hero for a combination for this anyway. So they can get it off quicker than Lamina can, but for for good crowd control in battles, obviously it's pretty pretty worthwhile. I actually liked it. But there's an easier way we can cast that spell, but that's not until way later in the game. So, but hey, it's there, so I'm gonna use it. Anyway, yeah, let's stop the library. <laughs> library. Yeah, that was on purpose. This chest we got. Ooh, a silver light. It's shiny and magical. And this is the only time in the game that we get descriptions like this. Like, any, you know, any other time we open a silver light, it won't be the same description. Maybe a silver light over there, and over here, we get an angel ring. This is coming handy. I think that's our first one, I believe. But yeah, what the angel ring does, you equip it on a character. If they die, uh, they get fully healed, actually. They're revived and fully healed, both HP and MP. So, you want to save that for when you really need it. Um, this point in the game, you, you better, you hopefully don't need it. Just if you do need it for a battle, um, you might want to level up a little bit more. Uh, let me see. Oh, we got one more. Yeah, one more chest over here. And it's yeah, I believe that is it. And this chest over here, we get the thief staff. You obviously know who that's for. Yeah, let's see, thief staff. I get where is it? Yeah, pretty much it steals items from enemies, uh, which uh, not too useful right now. But later on in the game, that will be useful too. I'll be keeping that around for sure. And and I recommend you guys do too. And let's see, I believe that is it. You yeah, got the Thunder Crest, the Seal Crest, uh, the Gordon Doll, Lamina's Purse, Silver Light, Angel Ring. Yeah, that's everything. Okay, and um, I don't know why I can't even start there. Hey, we're fully healed. Mm, excuse me, I just burp, burped right there. Didn't mean to. Yeah, we're going to continue our adventure, which will lead us to the southeast. Yeah, the Supreme Transmission, don't need you anymore. Yet. You just walked along this, like, this path here. With our awesome, happy, catchy music, what and whatnot, and brings us down here to a nice secluded forest. See, and this is uh, let me just yeah, I'm just going to save real quick so I can show you guys what this place actually is. Yeah, this is the uh, the sluice forest or the sluice woods. And yeah, uh, as with en every new park, we got new enemies to show, but the enemies around here are a little hard. They're definitely a step up from what we found before, so some new tactics are needed throughout here. Yeah, new enemies here. Diddy Ants, and two dies in the front. The Fly Trapper, two dies in the back. What we want to do... Let's see. Yeah, the Diddy Ants are resistant to a lot of stuff, actually. 
but not the post sword, so we want to deal with that. Um, Ron Far, we'll have you do light litany. Um, feel free to do use as much MP as you want. There will be an Athena statue coming up later on, so don't worry about that. Yeah, we'll have Ron Far team up with Hero on that. Uh, let's see, Gene. Um, Dan just probably won't be too useful here, sadly. At least not in this formation. So we'll just have her attack the uh, Flight Trapper in the back. And Lamina, yeah, let's go ahead and show off a uh, Pulse Explosion. Um, yeah, it obviously won't hit all three of these guys, but obviously they'll move in closer to my party, so that'll work better. And yeah, pretty much, yeah, pul uh, Pulse Explosion is just mainly a good crowd control spell. And let's see, a uh, Post Sword that does not kill the Diddy Ant in one hit. It'd be nice if it did, it doesn't. So that's why I want to have Ron for use Light Litany on the thing, too. See, it has a lot of HP. I mean, 200 plus HP right there. I'll take care of this. Pulse explosion. Hey, 111 damage, not bad at all. Ow, ow. Yeah, that right there is why you want to kill the Jedi ants first because they're trying to sell for a normal enemy. I mean, they took a 76 HP off of Ron Far alone. So let's do one more post sword. Go light litany. G, you just attack again. Um, Lamina. Um, We'll just have you attack. Um, let's see, as far as elemental weaknesses go, the Jedi Ant does not have any, I believe. The Fly Trappers, I, I'm certain they do. I don't I forget what it is. So let me try to find the right one. Let's, see, let's try water, maybe. No. Um, flame makes sense. Haha, there you go, flame staff. I mean, I probably should have figured that. I don't know why I didn't. Oh well. Post sword. And yeah, when you're using Post Sword in a random battle, you know the enemies are starting to get a little bit harder. It's actually pretty rare that we'll actually be using Post Sword in a random battle. Though actually, now that I say that, we'll, uh, we will still be using it for some random battles. Actually, pretty soon. But there, nothing too bad there. Yeah, lots of experience points and silver, most importantly, which we'll be needing a lot of in the near future. Let's see, that takes care of that. Um, the B, that's new. I do want to show him off. I want to stay with him the Scorpion. Luckily, the scorpions are pretty slow, so you, uh, you should be able to outrun them pretty easily. Yeah, here we go. Uh, Killer Wasp. That's the guy in the middle, obviously. Uh, no need for a uh, post sword here. Just no physical attacks. Or what? Cross Boomerang. Haha! Um, uh -huh. We'll do a Cross Boomerang and the Killer Wasp. Ron Far, you attack. Uh, Gene, we'll just have you go... Dream Dance? Yeah, just for some extra damage. Lamina, we'll have you attack the uh, fly, tra fly Trapper in the back. Yeah, if you really need to heal your MP and HP if you're running low and you're not done with the part, yeah, just go back to Vayne and just use, use the statue there. The enemies, I believe, will respawn, I think. Don't quote me on that, because I'm not sure about that. It might be one of the parts where they don't respawn. I really don't remember. So, we'll see. Yeah, what I'm probably going to do... Well, obviously, I'll clear all the enemies off-screen, because there's not really too many to show around here anyway. I think there's only three. You know, the Fly Trapper, JJ Ant, in the we yeah, have the killer wasp. I'm pretty sure that's it. So yeah, at the end of this episode, yeah, I'll go ahead and just clear all the enemies off screen just as always. Um, okay, still alive. They made no progress. That's awesome. Well, yeah, they, they're all softened up, so should be able to kill them all this round. Yeah, I'll do the pre-recording this right now. This will be uploaded on Monday, and I know I'm still like a week behind on videos, but I'm not really didn't have the time to like pre-record multiple episodes of everything to catch up so we'll just go ahead we'll just go as this and whoa almost 700 silver yay I like that you let me uh, progress north away from the uh, stupid scorpion and oh, another one crap that was close that was really really close I did not want to fight that thing right now I will later though yes yeah, heal up real quick and I'll check my stats real quick too let's see close close okay yeah we're we're getting there. I would think, yeah, once I clear out all the enemies out of here, um, off screen, I should be able to level up, and I did not want to do that. Um, can I run away, please? I guess I'll Thank you, this game. Time. It's so nice you let me run away this time. That's, yeah, there is a chest right up here. We got the, oh, the Vigor Ring. Okay, I thought that was something else. But, yeah, the item I'm thinking about, thinking about is coming up later on. Um, Vigor Ring. I want to give this, we'll do it to Gene. Yeah, um, uh, it can be paralyzed, which for here, this will be useful. Just, yeah, Digit Ants, I believe, can paralyze you. So, I won't keep an eye out for that. 
and stay away from me. S uh, sneak through, damn it. Okay, let's see if I did lucky again. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, good, good. Yeah, I want to run forward just a little bit. Um, let's see, just run right up. Okay, right about. Oh, there's no one, one new enemy there. Okay, guys. So what I'll do, um, I'll clear off most of the enemies on uh, on you know off screen. I'll kill most of the enemies around here. I'll show off the new bird next time, and then I'll meet you guys right back here for next time. Let's play Lunar 2 Eternal Blue Complete. This has been Iron Movies on Off, guys. Have a nice day and thanks for watching.